All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. So today we're going to talk about Adventure Quest 3D going into open beta very soon. Let's get right into the video. Okay, guys, welcome back. So the closed beta begins on the 19th of July. That is only a little ways away that is next Tuesday so the closed beta will start they're going for the world record for shortest closed beta um pretty interesting uh the closed beta will last seven days if everything goes smoothly um and then an open beta will start after the closed beta of course um 11 dungeons are going live when the closed beta goes live on the 19th um uh, so there will be an average of two dungeons per area in Adventure Quest 3D. I don't know if that's an average or per the areas where there's mobs in it. I'm guessing it's per areas with mobs in it, not counting Yolgar and other maps like that. Um, but after that, we're going to have a wipe. Uh, this is all happening on the 19th. A wipe and a gold level reset. So really sucks. Gold and your levels will be reset. Um, I wish they would do this just for levels and not for your gold, because levels are super hard to get in Adventure Quest 3D. Hopefully they'll turn the XP up on mobs by a little bit, like 25% or like 10%, that'd be great. But if they don't do so, it, I guess we'll still have to level up slowly. And the gold reset, I understand that 100% because, you know, the gold they want it to be harder to get and more valuable, of course. I wish that was the case in Adventure Quest Worlds. So, after that, um, we have the web version officially being discontinued. Unity no longer supports the web plugin. Very understandable. Once Unity doesn't support it, it's hard to support that as yourself, uh, as the company itself. So, definitely very understandable that they're discontinuing that. I would highly recommend playing on Steam. It runs a lot better, looks a lot better. It's just an all-around better experience playing the Steam version of this game. And the pre-beta badges will be awarded. So I already have the alpha badge and I'll have the pre-beta badge. Very cool on my account and your account also. If you played in the alpha and pre-beta, you will have a badge. So you can log in until the 19th and still uh, acquire the pre-beta badge. But they will not be awarded until July the 19th. So then seven days later, the open beta begins. A Steam version becomes available for all players. So it's an open beta uh, on the 7th. Or seven days after the 19th. Excuse me. And the Android version becomes available to early access players and uh, they'll have more details on how to get the Android version later on. And then later on, uh, they don't know when, but the iPhone version will be released. Uh, which I'm guessing it's harder to get a game on the iPhone than on Android. Alpha Pirate, uh, which is for the Kickstarters. Guardian Tower, which you can buy Guardian for $25 in-game as a microtransaction already in-game. Paladin, Necromancer, Dragon Slayer go to testing by qualifying early access players. Um, I'm pretty sure Paladin, Necromancer, and Dragon Slayer are classes available for everyone, but will be able to be accessed first from the uh, Kickstarter guys. So that's all the news we have for Adventure Quest 3D today. I'm going to go on to a little bit more of opinionated stuff. Not that I don't put opinions in the news. Uh, I, I feel like I'm not an actual news person. I'm basically just reading the design notes, but when it comes to my opinion on Adventure Quest 3D, I would love to talk to you about that now. Um, Adventure Quest 3D's development, I think they're moving too fast. Um, they're going from alpha, they weren't in alpha for very long at all. Um, they, I like that they had an early access alpha that players could play in, but I thought they would put a lot more time into developing that alpha before moving over to the beta stage which after beta you go live so once they're out of beta the game is live that's their finished product that's their version 1.0 that they're putting out to the public and i really think that the game needs a lot more development time before it goes live hopefully we stay in uh open beta for years <laughs> two or three years like i don't think we should be moving live so quickly but of course they want to probably get the microtransactions in the game to get that income flow so they can keep developing the game and I, I, I understand that. But it's just crazy how quickly the game is being developed and how the combat is still the exact same as it was or close to the same. They've changed a few animations but that doesn't really change how the mobs move around and stuff like that. It's just 
it feels very floaty, very low quality as far as combat goes, and that's the main meat and potatoes of the game so far. There's no guild system, there's no trading, there's none of those features that the players have wanted in the game. There's not even a house system yet, and they're moving out of beta so quickly. Um, I don't know, it's just really crazy to see how fast this game is being developed, and hopefully they'll slow down a little bit. Take it a little bit slower, pay more attention to the details, and just develop the game in a better manner. I don't know. I'm being very critical of it right now because I want it to succeed. I'm not a game dev. I've never developed a game. I don't know what that's like. But uh, uh, from my experience playing early access games of the sort, most of them will spend a long time in their alpha stages and their uh, beta stages before they go live. And it seems like they're rushing to live. Uh, maybe they'll be in beta for a year or two. Maybe not. We don't know. A lot of games stay in beta for a while. Uh, but basically, when you're going into beta, that means the game's finished and you're fixing small minor bugs and small tweaks and changes to maybe balance but and balance and other things like that, like uh, earn rates and XP and damage and stuff. Like You're just doing tweaks to that stuff in the beta stages. Uh, I get that they're adding content to it. They probably want to uh, do it like they do Adventure Quest Worlds where they add new content on maybe a bi-monthly beta or like two times a month. Or like maybe every week if they get better at developing it, like if they learn how to develop it faster, maybe they'll do that eventually, maybe a year or two down the road. But it seems like at the moment, they're pushing it way too hard. Um, hopefully they'll slow down a little bit, take the time. I've been going over the same points over and over again. I'm just kind of droning on at this point. So that's my opinion. I really hope they add some new features that are actually... Uh, have some substance to them that add more gameplay, add more playability to the game, and they turn around and make the combat a bit better. I feel like they're, I feel at one point they're gonna, they're gonna glide on this combat for a while, and then they're gonna do a combat overhaul. That's, that's my thoughts on it. Of course, I don't know anything that the theorists don't know right now, but I feel like in the future a lot of things will be overhauled, and I really hope they do that and don't feel like the players will, uh, like like the players will go against an overhaul because I'm pretty sure everyone would love a combat overhaul because currently in Adventure Quest 3D the combat is very very poor compared to other MMORPGs. A lot of people don't realize they take it as an Adventure Quest game and they they're put up against those standards but you're in an arena competing with games like World of Warcraft now um, and World of Warcraft it has similar combat to World of Warcraft except if you look at World of Warcraft gameplay, you can you can tell there's, there's a little bit more there. I think there needs to be UI changes. Uh, controller support on PC would be awesome. Uh, a lot of things like that. I know it's an MMO and you shouldn't be playing with a controller, but you know it. If, you, if someone on, before they download it on Steam sees that there's controller support, they're gonna be a lot more likely to download the game, or maybe if they're a controller player, I don't know, but like it could help. Uh, like there's a bunch of cool things that they could add and I hopefully that hopefully they will they're still very early in the development and I could definitely see those changes going into the game going forward I could talk about Adventure Quest 3D and development of it all day and I do a lot on my streams of Adventure Quest 3D but thank you guys for watching this episode of the news and I guess I spent more time talking about my opinion on Adventure Quest 3D than I did talking about the news uh, hopefully you enjoyed if you did leave a like let's see if we can get to about 50 to 100 likes. I don't know how many people watch my Adventure Quest 3D videos. I know it's a lot less than my Adventure Quest Worlds videos, but hopefully one day we'll all move off of Adventure Quest Worlds and on to 3D. Hopefully that's the future of the game. I would love it if they would turn it around and make the game a great. Hashtag make Adventure Quest Worlds great again. I'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace.